Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video we're going to be discovering what may actually happen when black hole and dark matter collide. Today we're going to talk about a new hypothesis from a Japanese university and we're going to discuss what may actually happen when things that are not visible to us collide with black holes. Anyway, welcome to What The Math. <laughs> So right now we see a black hole destroying a star and basically creating what would probably become an accretion disk that will very likely form around, around this small black hole and stay there for quite some time. Now, today we're not really making accretion disks and we're not really making black holes, but we are talking about a new hypothesis from a person by the name of Aichi Iwazaka from uh, a university in Japan. I believe the university is called uh, Nishogakusha University. And what this person proposed is something that may explain two things. Uh, as a matter of fact, may explain very unusual, very mysterious things. So let's just actually go back in time for a second and talk about um, a very unusual phenomenon known as a fast radio burst. Uh, the first such uh, radio burst was detected back in 2016 and essentially what it was was um, a very unusual signal uh, from a, a galaxy 2.5 billion light years away and it was basically um, a radio signal and it was like a burst that repeated several times and then disappeared. We still don't really know what caused it, we have no explanation, but this particular um, person from Japan decided to explain it in a very unusual way that would actually kill two birds with one stone. So his explanation actually tries to uh, take care of both the fast radio burst and also the dark matter. So what he proposes is as follows, and we're actually going to create um, a completely new simulation here using Universe Sandbox, and we're going to just place some dark matter in the middle. So here is our chunk of dark matter. It's uh, a mass of about 238 suns, and it's essentially represented by this red blob in the game. It doesn't actually interact with any matter, um, and it sort of just floats around by itself. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually uh, right away get into the explanation uh, by Aichi Iwazaki. And that's basically as follows. He, he suggests that whenever dark matter blobs pass through um, supermassive black holes, and we're going to go into black holes here and just use our own Sagittarius A and essentially just kind of place it relatively close to this blob of dark matter, maybe somewhere right here. Um, so whenever this dark matter passes through uh, the Sagittarius A and specifically through its accretion disk that I kind of just created here for fun, um, and we're going to actually make it run right now and just see what happens. So whenever this dark matter passes through the accretion disk, according to the scientist, um, the interaction between dark matter and the black hole itself, and of course the accretion disk, creates these repetitive fast radio bursts. Now, specifically what he actually refers to um, is not just a blob of dark matter, but a dark matter star. And what, uh, or the way he explains dark matter is by using this very unusual particle known as the axion. So we're going to rename this into the axion star. So the dark matter in this case is explained as a collection of these axion particles that don't really interact with anything. They're not particularly heavy, they're relatively light and they do create blobs and they're in, practically invisible, they're hard to detect. Therefore, they are the dark matter. And these axion stars, when they pass through the black holes, they create these super fast uh, radio bursts that we've detected back in 2016 and can't really explain just yet. And the reason why his uh, proposition kind of makes a little bit of sense is because, well, there is a bit of a mathematical proof to what he was, or what he is saying in his paper, and also because um, when the uh, dark matter passes through the accretion disk, you would expect some kind of a, 
uh, reaction and some kind of a energetic release of um, something. There will be some kind of a release of energy that would be then sent toward us. And specifically here, because you can see this axion star kind of keeps moving back and forth, uh, this would explain why we've detected up to 10 of these bursts coming from the direction of a galaxy 2.5 billion years ago. Now, this is still maybe just a hypothesis because we, we currently don't really understand dark matter and we obviously don't understand the creation of these fast radio bursts. But this hypothesis might actually have quite a lot of support because it does sort of explain the dark matter, and also explains fast radio bursts at the same time. Now, there's really uh, very little we know about the dark matter to, to know for sure if this is true or not, but um, the reason why this hypothesis might actually be the best explanation so far is because it actually doesn't take any unusual particles, it doesn't really take anything that's not... Uh, present in the standard model of physics and it does kind of explain things uh, using the model that we currently have. So it might actually appeal to quite a lot of scientists but whether it's true or not we'll find out maybe in some near future or possibly far future if we detect more of these particles and maybe if we detect the axions uh, a little bit closer to earth and can actually define them physically. Now, before we finish this video, I actually wanted to see what would happen if we were to change the, uh, the axion star into regular matter, into something that can actually interact with the black hole and interact with the um, accretion disk. Because right now, as you can see, it literally just passes through it. So we're going to go into the actions here and turn this into an actual body. So here we go. And, wow. Well, I think it just kind of exploded. Yep, it created an unusual supernova. And there is that rem remnant black hole, I think. Is that a black hole? Yeah, it, it actually created another black hole uh, from the interaction with Sagittarius A star. Well, that's kind of what you would expect, actually. And I guess this black hole now collide with Sagittarius A and become one. Well, for now, that's all I wanted to say in this video, and if you've actually learned something from it, and if you've enjoyed watching it, don't forget to subscribe, share this video with someone who enjoys watching space videos and wants to learn through video games, and come back tomorrow to learn something else. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Space out, and as always, bye-bye. And now it's actually just advanced time and see what happens to our beautiful black hole, and if it's actually affected by anything else, because I think it swallowed the Axion star, and there's nothing but the supernova left next to it.